Caleb Cole, the leader of the neo-Nazi group Adam Waffen Division, who sent threatening posters to journalists and to advocates who worked to expose anti-Semitism, came face to face with his victims today in a federal courtroom in Seattle. I received one of the ugly and insidious posters that he created and helped send to my home. Hillary Bernstein, the former director of the Anti-Defamation League in the Pacific Northwest, and the current director, Miri Cypers, were both targeted. The letter read, you've been visited by your local neo-Nazis, our patience has its limits, and actions have consequences. Saying that neo-Nazis were watching me and they knew where I lived. Cole is seen in this undercover video talking about his plot to intimidate journalists. You know, it's just like, a, hey, we know where you live. And the U.S. attorney says Cole also promoted violence, stockpiled weapons, and organized hate camps. King 5 investigator Chris Ingalls worked to expose what Adam Waffen was doing and was retaliated against with a threatening letter sent to his home. I have just noticed something in my mailbox that doesn't look quite right. This hate group in particular didn't want you to know that they were training with guns up in Skagit County. They didn't want you to know about their secret meetings. They didn't want you to know about the ways they would harass public officials or people of color or Jewish people. But instead of backing down, Cole's victims stood together. It takes extreme bravery to have been threatened and to not be silenced. They were there as this court case came to an end today, with Cole receiving a seven-year prison sentence. I hope that it sends a message to others that this kind of behavior, these kinds of actions, terrorizing people, trying to instill fear and hatred, will not go unnoticed and will not be swept aside, that there will be accountability. Now, in addition to Cole, there were three co-conspirators who previously pleaded guilty and were sentenced. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.